All right. What is up, my people? I'm a little late, so we're going to jump right on in. Hey, Giovanni, Kenny, what's going on? Show up to my man. Get your questions ready for today, man. I'll recap this week's shows, but this today is all about you, man. Let me help you build your brand or answer any questions or whatever I can help you with. Uh, that's what Fridays is all about. So I'm just going to get this going. What's up, Shelton? Let's talk a little bit later today, man, uh, uh, about growing your team, uh, Shelton. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and start, man. Uh, to talk of money in the morning live with your main man H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor to the black community, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur, where I do my absolute best to bring practical, proven wealth building strategies to working men and women all over this great nation of ours. It's truly an honor, privilege, and a blessing to come to you live and direct from the Monetize My Life Academy studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. Guys, if you have passions, if you have dreams, you have goals, you have aspirations, and you're trying to figure out how to turn some of those passions into income streams, Monetize My Life Academy wants to help you do just that. Go over to www.monetizemylifeacademy.com to learn more about the membership site and the products and services that we have over there that can help you transform your passion into profit. I mean, I'll give you a quick example, man. It, it, was, it wasn't until I learned some of the things that I learned uh, that I was able to stop volunteering as a youth basketball coach and then I opened my own business as a youth basketball coach and trainer. So I was doing something that I loved, but I wasn't getting an income stream from it. And then I transformed that passion into an income stream via some of the things that I learned over at Monetize My Life Academy. So I'll be doing some... Um, some training and some education over there. If you want to know the three free tools that I use to build my brand, uh, go to uh, click on the link uh, above, and uh, I will definitely share with you and pour into you for 90 minutes uh, the three free tools that I use to build my brand. So click on that link, and that might help you uh, get some things squared away. And then, if you want some uh, additional courses and things on how to really do that, then. Uh, we're here to help, man. I just want to help you build your brand and help you take yourself to another level. Uh, the, uh, uh, today's show is also brought to you by the Black Wealth Movement. If you are serious about building um, a legacy for your family and you need some strategies on how to get your money to work better, you need some strategies on how to uh, increase your cash flow, you need some strategies on uh, how to get out of debt, you need some strategies on investing, uh, then we have a membership site, uh, a membership of $35 a month that will teach you all of those things and more. So 
Uh, text the word Black Wealth Movement to 314-874-6887. And let me just send you some information so you can see what it's all about. Maybe it's a good fit, maybe it's not. Uh, but that's for you to decide. But don't listen to us talk about the Black Wealth Movement and not at least fully investigate it. So uh, today we're talking about, uh, it's Free Game Friday, so we'll recap today's shows. But before I get into that, let me let you know exactly who this show is for, in case you're new to the show. This show is for risers and grinders only, man. If you're ready to get up, get out and get something this morning, then this is your show. This show is for legacy builders, man. You got to be willing to sacrifice today so that you can have a better tomorrow. If that's you, this is your show. On the other hand, who is the show not for? Uh, if you're that type of person who got that weird relationship with money, this ain't your show. No, money isn't everything, but money has a proper place. And until you figure that proper place out for money in your life, then chances are you're repelling money away from you instead of attracting it to you. Uh, so, if you've never seen a future billionaire before, I want you to take a screenshot, cheese, and not just of me, but look at all the people in the stream who are also on their way to building a mega, mega wealth. You might want to partner with some of these people and transform your finances as well. If you're checking us out on Periscope, go ahead and invite your followers, uh, invite your uh, uh, friends and, and, and tweet us out. Uh, if you're checking us out on YouTube, then do the same thing. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then um, go ahead and copy today's the link to today's show and share it on your favorite social media timeline. And you guys on Facebook, Go ahead and share, 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 share. Let's get more people involved in the conversation this morning. Free Game Fridays is our show all about you, the viewers, to chime in with your questions. Uh, and uh, I will do my best to respond with um, something that I know. If I don't know it, I'll research it. We'll table it to next Friday. I'll go and research it. Or I may even just do a, a re have to do some research and do an entire show on uh, that topic. So... The way we do it is I love to give you a business shout out. So type the name of your business uh, first and foremost or your brand that you're building, then your question, and then I will uh, go ahead and ask your, ask your question to the audience and then I will answer it. And then sometimes those in the audience who have some experience in that will also uh, answer your question as well. Uh, but before that, uh, a couple uh, a couple announcements, guys. Uh, Talk of Money in the Morning Live is listener supported uh, entertainment, edutainment, as I like to say, or edutrainment. So uh, how do you guys like the I Am Hustle t-shirts, right? On sale now in black with white letters, white with black letters, uh, $15 plus $3 shipping. All you have to do is inbox me. Uh, I will get this up on the store on my website uh, here in the next couple days, but you inbox me and get your I Am Hustle t-shirt. See, for some people, hustle is what they do. For me, Hustle is who I am. See, how you like that as a brand slogan, right? See, I'm ready to, to take this brand to a whole nother level, man. Uh, so that's kind of what it is that, that, that we're doing. So uh, when you buy things like this from uh, me, then it helps me keep the show going. It also helps me do other things in the community. Also, last announcement, then we'll get started. The uh, Talking Money in the Morning live stream in two weeks is going exclusively to my fan page. If you haven't gone over to my business page, Financial Health Mentor, I will stop streaming the show on my personal page and start streaming the show exclusively on my fan page. So if you don't haven't gotten around to it, go over to uh, facebook.com forward slash financial health mentor and like the page so that you get notifications when we start streaming the show live from over there. Now we will still come live uh, to Periscope and uh, YouTube, but on Facebook, we will be going live exclusively from my fan page and I, I won't be sharing it to my personal profile. So you have to go over there to watch uh, that show. All right. So uh, I'm going to be recapping today's show. Uh, if you guys got enough questions, I don't recap at all. But if you don't have questions, then I'll jump into some recap of this week's show. I thought I saw a question already early on. Let me just make sure or double check. And sometimes you have to ask your questions twice. Sometimes the feed goes faster than I can keep up with. And just bear with me. Bear with me. 
Praise Lord. Good morning, Brother Cortez. I have shared your Facebook Live. Appreciate it. Uh, Yolanda says uh, she loves uh, uh, our Facebook Live here. Thank you for that, uh, Yolanda. It, it really means something to me when I know that you guys are getting value out of what I'm doing. Uh, and it keeps me going and keeps me motivated. So I appreciate that. It says, can you explain the difference between Black Wealth Movement and the 1,000 families? Uh, there really is no difference. We just switched up the branding. Uh, and now the focus is on 1,000 black families versus 1,000 families in general. The Black Wealth Movement and Project 1000 is the same. We just switched up the branding because we feel that black people are in the worst economic condition on the planet. So uh, we are reaching out to grab them first and foremost. That, that's all. It's, it's just a slight shift in branding. But the philosophies, the principles, the people behind it, the company behind it, all of that's the same. So we're still looking to uh, this year. We're at about 300. We're, we're trying to get to a thousand uh, black families uh, on the path to building financial stability. So, uh, yeah, just a shift in branding, Monica, not so much anything else. Uh, you know, the Project 1000 uh, and, and not to say that if you're not black, you can't join the movement. It's just that we are targeting specifically uh, our brothers and sisters to help them uh, financially first and foremost. All right. Keep on pushing enterprises is in the building. Appreciate it. Uh, is an uh, additional website uh, other than my uh, econ necessary for more traffic. Thanks for your time. Um, yes. Uh, the way I teach anybody how to build any brand, especially if you're dealing with a network marketing company, is you brand yourself. So, yes. Uh, my econ gives you a wonderful website with all the products and services built in, but then you're sending people to that website. You're sending them people to that brand. What I do is I send people to my website, my financial health mentor website, and I brand me, and then I list all of those products and services through my website that they can click on and go through to and purchase them from my, my econ website. So I teach people three primary tools that I use for branding is my own uh, a Weebly website, my own um, uh, YouTube channel, and Facebook. Those are all three free platforms. So I teach that if you're going to build a network marketing, affiliate marketing company, that's cool, but brand yourself along the way. So, so that's what I would recommend, Sheldon. And if you need help with that, just let me know, brother. And, and I got you. Um, anybody else? And, and that is from keep on, keep, keep on Pushing Enterprises. And I love that. That's a play on uh, uh, a word that's an alley. Uh, COPE is K-O-P-E, which stands for Keep On Pushing. And really, that is how you cope. That is how you cope. One of the ways that you cope is by keep on pushing. So until you guys can pop some more questions in, uh, let me recap uh, this week's shows. Uh, yesterday, we did My Brother's Keeper Speaker Series with Prince Dykes. If you are serious about learning investing and you're not connected to the investor show, brother puts it down, man. Brother really, really puts it down in teaching you the ins and outs of investing uh, uh, from all facets, uh, he's also the author of uh, the children's book series, Wesley Learns. Uh, the first book in that series is Wesley Learns to Invest. And then the second book in that series is Wesley Learns About Credit. If you go to www.wesleylearns, uh, Wesley Learns uh, to invest.com. Uh, on YouTube, uh, on Periscope, no, I am not an investor, more of a financial educator. I can teach you how investments work, but an investor is licensed and has the ability to actually give you advice on what to do with your money. That's not me. I wouldn't want that responsibility of telling you what to do with your money. But I can teach you how investments work. I can teach you that uh, if you are investing, you want to look for uh, long term investments that are paying out at least 8% rate of return or better. Uh, and the reason we say 8% as a benchmark, because there's two things you always have to account for when you're dealing with long term investments, and that is taxes and inflation and taxes come first. Right. So a lot of times when we are we are preparing for our retirement future, we will say, hey, I want $10,000 a month coming in for my retirement when I reach 65. Well, guess what? I'm 43 now. 65 is 22 years from now for me. If I get $10,000 coming from my investments 
uh, 20 years from now, guess what? That 10,000 is only going to be worth 5,000 because I have to account for inflation. I also have to account for taxes. So the cost of living doubles every uh, 18 to 24 years. So by the time I'm 65, that 10,000 will only be worth 5,000. Will I have the lifestyle that I want to live? Chances are, if I want a $10,000 a month uh, uh, income to give me a $10,000 a month lifestyle, then I have to literally uh, prepare myself to get a $20,000 a month uh, uh, return uh, on my investments by the time I retire to live the same $10,000 lifestyle that I would have here. Uh, yeah, if you want to uh, go to highreturns.financialhealthmentor.com, highreturns.financialhealthmentor.com. Uh, I have a video uh, that I put out that teaches about getting uh, a double-digit returns um, from uh, uh, that. Uh, good morning. How can you invest without a big startup? If you want high returns, you can't. So I got a question on Periscope. Are you building a brand? Give me the name of your brand or company that you represent so I can give you a business shout-out from Periscope. Uh, she says, or he says, how do you... Uh, 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 invest uh, or get invest without a big startup. If you want great returns, it's almost impossible because most of the places that we know to go and get double digit rates of return on your money, you have to come to the table with three, four, five thousand dollars sometimes to start those types of accounts. So what I would recommend is that you go ahead and put your money into. Uh, 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 Something that's getting a lower return so that you can save up that 3000 and then transfer that 3000 to an account that's going to get better results, better, better returns, right? So that was uh, yesterday's show on um, Wednesday's show. I, I, I rebroadcast re uh, the show that I did with my personal testimony. Uh, how to be an overcomer, or I think I originally uh, uh, titled it as how to get through what you're going through. Uh, and, and really, uh, you know, that's one that I kind of share every three or four months uh, just to uh, let people in on who I am. And, and, and I think it gives people, when, when they hear that, I think it gives people a clearer picture of my motive, right? Because when you get on a, a platform like this and you talk about money 24-7, it is it's crazy. Uh, so you are saying that to get the higher returns, you have to have three to 5,000. To start most of those uh, investment funds, if you go to T. Rowe Price, Fidelity, uh, 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 Vanguard, places like that, uh, they have double-digit rates of returns available for you all the time, all the time. But to start a fund with them, it's usually, I think the lowest I've seen is like 2,500 bucks. Now, you can go to a broker sometimes, uh, uh, Edward Jones or someone like that, and they could probably get you a decent return. But a lot of times, because they are middlemen brokers, they will charge heavy fees uh, that can kind of eat up some of those high returns that they can get you. But at least you're, you're getting better returns. So if you want to park some money there, let it grow to three, four, five thousand dollars and then transfer it to a Fidelity or something like that. Then that is also an option. Right. So give me the name of the company or brand that you're building and go ahead and ask your questions. Um, so like I was saying, we um, I, I shared that to give you an insight to who I am and where I've come from. So that uh, you, uh, hopefully you get from that that my intentions and my motives are pure. And yes, I want to build wealth and build a legacy for my family. But also at the heart of everything I do is the black community. Um, but th the fact remains that while we have to fight a lot of different wars on a lot of different fronts, what most black people don't understand who are marching and protesting and, 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 and going after the government and, and, and bashing this and bashing that and, and starting all these think tanks. At the end of the day, what you have to understand is that all wars are financed. All wars are financed. And I want to put myself in position to be one of those guys that can write some of those checks to help finance those wars. I'll give you an example, and, 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 and this is no, no shade against Bill Gates and the Gates, and the Gates Foundation, right? But you, you know that Bill Gates is, is on the record publicly 
saying that he is against uh, 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 this overcrowded world and he is for population control. So Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation, they have a war and they're fighting against population control, right? They are fighting against population control. He is worth a hundred billion dollars. He can write some big checks to help fight that war to control the population. Well, guess what? Part of the population that he wants to control is brothers and sisters that look like me. So I want to position myself to be able to write some big checks to fight in that war against population control. Uh, I, you know, that's just where I am and where my head is. So you have to remember that all wars are financed and somebody has to be willing to write a check. That's what the Black Wealth Movement is all about. The Black Wealth Movement in 12 to 18 months can put you in a solid place financially for you and your family. Get some things going in your, 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 your portfolio so that your family is going to be straight. But once we get your family straight, we want you to then start looking at our community and figure out how we can come together collectively with that which runneth over. See, we don't bless people with that which is in our cup. I'm going to say it again. We don't bless people with that which is in our cup. That which is in the cup is for me. That is my resources to take care of me and my family. But when my cup runs over, then the overflow is what we bless people with. Right. Some of us are struggling because we keep taking our resources that is meant for us and we're trying to be a blessing to other people instead of letting our resources first overflow. And then you bless them with the overflow. So uh, that's what the Black Wealth Movement is all about, helping individual families. We like to say that we're building, rebuilding the black community one family at a time, help individual families get their financial education so they can get themselves on a solid financial footing and then we can move to the next level to come together collectively and help uh, uh, do that as well. We need more black financial advisors so we can educate our people. That's what the Black Wealth Movement is. So potentially, it uh, sounds like you'd be a good candidate to join our movement. We will teach you the wealth building principles and strategies that we learn so that you can get your money right. But then we will also pay you to go out and teach other people. So the Black Wealth Movement, you will have your own financial education franchise where yes, you're gonna use the strategies yourself to get your money right, but then you're right. We need more educators to get out there and start teaching people how money really works, right? So Future Leaders LLC, my goal is financial empowerment to those uh, returning from prison through entrepreneurship, having issues with how to brand that having issues with how to brand that. Uh, I think a brand uh, like that would have to be, so, so Future Leaders LLC, what is your tagline, Monica? If you don't have one, then you need to get one because just right off the bat, oh, you are already a financial advisor and licensed. Okay, good. Uh, Go to, uh, send me a direct message here on, 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 on uh, uh, Periscope Twitter, uh, but go to uh, financialhealthmentor.com, financialhealthmentor.com, financialhealthmentor.com. You'll be able to opt in uh, to my list and you'll go, go to our uh, Black Wealth Movement presentation and then you can email me from there or you can give me a call, 314-874-6887. 314-874-6887. It says, consultant to the stars is the tagline. See, I, I will tell you, and, and don't take this the wrong way, Monica, but Future Leaders LLC, consultant to the stars, says nothing about you help you, nothing about a re-entry program. It says nothing about what your real mission is. So my brand is Financial Health Mentor. My other brand is Monetize My Life Academy. 
So when you think about those brands just in the name themselves, they're intriguing, but they also speak to what I do. So Future Leaders LLC, consultant to the stars, doesn't necessarily say what you do. Right. It doesn't necessarily say that you're uh, you're helping to empower those returning from prison through entrepreneurship. So either you rebrand all together or maybe switch up the tagline a little bit to speak specifically to, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, to, to what it is that you're doing. Future Leaders LLC. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, somebody help her with a tagline that, that says that she's empowering uh, empowering your re-entry to mainstream society, right? Future Leaders LLC, empowering your re-entry to mainstream society. That more speaks to, okay, future leaders. Some of our future leaders could be coming from prison. Think about Malcolm X, right? From prison. Think about uh, some other guys who have gone through that that channel, but now uh, 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 are, are doing some amazing things, right? So, so either rebrand all together, or maybe switch up your tagline so that it so people know right off the bat when they say Future Leaders LLC with your tagline, they know exactly what it is that you do, and they will connect with you. The other thing that I will tell any and everybody about building a brand. The reason you see me on video all from the uh, from the pit to power, right? So on, on Periscope, uh, Periscope, we got from the pit to power as a ta as a, as a tagline, right? Something that speaks to what you're doing with these brothers and sisters that are coming out of prison. And I think entrepreneurship is the only way to go for a lot of them because even though you can get a degree in prison. If you got a felony, you, you've been in prison because you got felonies. When they ask that question, do you have a felony on your record? They say that's not supposed to be able to keep people from hiring you, but that's a load of bull. Go into, um, check out Michelle Alexander's work on the new Jim Crow. Michelle Alexander's work on the new Jim Crow. This is another sister who's doing something similar. Uh, I haven't gotten into this book yet, but my uh, good friend Ariel blessed me with this. Uh, this is another one by uh, Christy M. Griffin, right? And this is Incarcerations in Black and White. Talks about the numbers of what's really going on. So Michelle Alexander has been fighting this fight for a while. Her book, The New Jim Crow, uh, talks about how they use uh, your, uh, uh, your, your, your former record against you uh, and basically to keep us in a Jim Crow state. So uh, and this one, I, I believe this is along the similar lines because she's quoted as soon as I opened it. The first thing I saw uh, in, in one of the chapters is, is her quoting Michelle Alexander. Uh, yes, it's a life sentence. Exactly. Exactly. But of course, it says fix your family first, then others who want to be free. Exactly. Uh, uh, from incarceration to in from incarceration to income. That's another good tagline. Right. From incarceration to income, you know, uh, there's another brother uh, who has a brand. I've got to get his book, too. I can't think of his name, but his brand is from the block to the boardroom because he did that whole street thing, did his time and then came out and got right into entrepreneurship. Now he runs uh, 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 his own company. So from the block to the boardroom, things like that can help these young brothers see your brand and say instantly, this is somebody I need to connect with because I'm not trying to go back to the streets, right? Good stuff. I appreciate that, Periscope. Give me your name on Periscope. It's hard for me to see on Periscope sometimes, and, and the, and the uh, comments disappear so quickly, right? Welcome to the mainstream. It's another good one, all right? Good. Uh, yes, it's a life sentence. Uh, yes, great woman. Uh, great book. Yes, yes. Michelle Alexander is the truth. I haven't read the book, I'll be honest, but I, I, I watched some of her lectures. Elaine. Okay, Elaine. I watched some of her lectures uh, and, and yeah, her TED Talk and some of, her, some of the other stuff that she's got going on on YouTube and so, man. Yeah, powerful, powerful stuff. No questions. If you guys don't have questions, I'll just keep recapping. So I told my story on Wednesday. Uh, on Tuesday, we did How to Get Unstuck. How to get unstuck from prison to prosperity, another good tagline. 
how to get unstuck. Right? Uh, from three hots in a cot to now I got a lot. Right, right. So you got to speak specifically to what it is you're doing. Uh, <clears throat> how to get unstuck. Uh, we talked about five ways to get unstuck. We talked about some things that you, you recognize when you're feeling stuck. But how to get unstuck, we talked about number one. First, you have to be stuck. Right? Now, <laughs> what I mean by that is... When we're feeling stuck, sometimes the last thing that we do is want to admit that we're stuck. When we're feeling stuck, sometimes the last thing we want to do is admit that we're stuck. But that's the first thing you have to do is admit where, why you're stuck, admit to yourself or analyze why you're stuck, and then start to determine how you got stuck so that you can fix the root cause of you getting stuck. Number two, another good way to feel when you're feeling stuck to get unstuck, go learn something new. Go to some of those passions that you had when you were a child and say, man, I've always wanted to be an electrical engineer. Let me go take a class on that. Oh, I've always wanted to learn how to sew. Let me go take a class on that. And sometimes that breaks you out of your rut of feeling stuck, right? Change your routine. If you've been doing the same thing every morning for 20 years, I, I bet like heck you stuck, <laughs> Right. Change your routine. Change your routine. If you get up and have a cup of coffee every morning, how about you get up and go for a walk first and then come back and have your cup of coffee? I don't know. Change things up a little bit. If you're trying to get unstuck, sometimes you're stuck in the mundane uh, routine that you've been in for the last five years, 10 years, whatever. Right. Uh, 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 the other one, uh, number four was to get still, right? Sometimes being stuck, well, all the time being stuck, that feeling like you're stuck is you fighting change. Most of the time you feel stuck because you know it's time for you to make a change and you're fighting it and you're fighting it. So number four is to get still so you can hear that little voice inside loud and clear who's screaming to you, it's time to change, it's time to change, but you're trying to drown it out. Get still and listen to it so not only do you realize it's time to change, but you also start to think about why it's time to change and how the change is going to benefit. That little voice is designed to guide you, right? And then uh, number five, change your environment. Change your environment. If you go hang out with the same people every week, go hang out with some different people. If you go downtown and hang out every week, start going to hang out uptown. If you go to the east side every week, start going to hang out on the west side. I don't know. Change your environment to get yourself from being and feeling stuck. Right. So that was Tuesday's show. Uh, we do have a question. Uh, Max Sanders uh, is building a my econ business. Good. I need a good tagline. I need a good tagline. So, Mac, you know uh, my econ has five core wealth building principles. Five. Are you focused on any one of the five? See, like my girl Molisha, she's focused on debt elimination. So her tagline is from debt to set. Right. So the five pillars that we build on is entrepreneurship, tax minimization, debt elimination, credit education and asset accumulation. So. Your tagline, if you're picking one of those five, your tagline should speak to the one that you're really most intrigued with, the one that you really want to build your brand around, right? Now, we know you can teach all of those things, so, so, so I build mine around the entrepreneurial piece. That's why I say you can get your own financial education franchise with me because it speaks to people who want their own business. That's what I focus on. I believe entrepreneurship is a new retirement plan. I believe everybody should have their own business, even if they're working a good, cushy corporate job. You should have your own business on the side because your own business on the side helps you minimize your taxes from that good, cushy job. Because I know people who are making six figures. If you make a hundred thousand, you're only going to bring home sixty five when Uncle Sam gets gets finished with you. If you're making 100000 on your job, you're only bringing home sixty five when Uncle Sam get through with you. But if you have a home-based business and you work in a side hustle and you're making that same six figures, then you can minimize your taxes so that you don't give Uncle Sam that whole 35000 He's still going to get you for about fifteen. dollars but at least you've got 85 to work with instead of 65. Huh? 
Who's teaching you how to get yourself a $20,000 a year raise if you're making six figures? Me. That's who. That's who. Through your own financial education franchise. Right? So, Max says, debt elimination is what he's focused on. So, uh, 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 debt elimination is where you focus on. So, now your tagline, now, now that you have that focus, your tagline can be more specific around debt elimination. Right? Stop drowning in debt, right? Debt elimination. So you think about what people are going through as they're de dealing with debt. Uh, 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 so you can, you, you also need a, a, a name for your brand. What's the name of your brand? See, your brand can't be my econ. That's their brand. Your brand has to be your brand. Then a tagline. Your brand has to be your brand, then a tagline. Right. So so uh, 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 put the shovel down. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, 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 Shelton says uh, put the shovel down. Uh, Shelton says get on the other side of interest, which is a good one, because when you're drowning in debt, you're paying interest, but you're not earning any interest. You're paying interest, but you're not earning interest. Right. See, people think that interest is a bad thing. Yeah. 18 percent is, is a bad thing if you pay 18 percent on your car loan. 18% is a good thing if you're earning 18% on your investments. Huh? 18% is a good thing if you're earning 18 Because at 18%, that means your money will double like every four or five years or something. According to the rule of 72. Yeah. Yeah, we want 18% when we're earning it. We don't want 18% when it's on a credit card or a car loan or, or whatever. So get on the right side of debt. Put the shovel down. You've dug yourself in a hole. Stop digging. Right? So you need a, a name of your brand first and then a tagline in between the two. When I read, so so when, when I say I'm the financial health mentor to the black community, then what does that say to you? That's my brand. My tagline is, is to the black community who I'm speaking to directly. So that tells you a lot about me just in the name of the brand, Financial Health Mentor. I want to mentor people on their financial health, but to the black community speaks to my target audience. Right? Practical, proven, wealth-building solutions for working men and women. That's another tagline that I often use. Right? So that's how you start thinking about your brand, then you add your tagline, but think about what, who it is that you're trying to reach, what are their pain points, and then you, you, you reverse engineer that and say what would speak directly to those people. If, that, if this person with this problem of drowning in debt, if they heard this name, this tagline, that will instantly make them think about their pain and my potential uh, and my ability to help them solve or my, my potential to have a solution for that pain. Right. So uh, on Monday. Uh, yes. Financial fitness coach. What tagline would I use? Uh, uh, shape up your finances. If that's the name of your brand, see, I would have to know the name of your brand first and then. Uh, uh, we can come up with a timeline, a tagline. But if your name, the, the name of your brand is financial fitness something, shape up your finances. Let me whip your finances into shape, right? Something like that that will go with a brand that says financial fitness, uh, whipping your finances into shape in six months or less, right? Cutting the fat. That's the name of the, uh, the brand, financial fitness coach. Yeah, so financial fitness coach, uh, trimming the fat, from your finances, right? <laughs> Something like that. Make it cool, make it fun, make it make it unique, make it uh, memorable, right? So yeah, yeah, trimming the fat, uh, whipping your your finances into shape. Um, you know, get off the financial treadmill. You know, people are, are on that thing and they're just running and their finances just keep they they stay in the same position. So all of that kind of stuff. Uh, climb out of the well. Climbing out of the well. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one, Matt. That's a good one, right? Get your weight up. There's nothing. Get your financial weight up. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I offer a proven solution to 
uh, debt free relief. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Approving, uh, approving solutions to debt relief. Yeah, good, good, good. So on, on on Monday's show, Monday's show was why you should take your talents to the internet. Why take your talent to the internet, man? You should already know why. But we we listed a few things on on taking your talent to the internet. Like 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 LeBron James took his talent to South Beach to get get him a couple rings. Well, guess what? You should take your talent to the internet and get you a few championship rings too. Take your talent to the internet and get you a few championship rings. Why? Cost effective. Cost effective, right? You can go open a brick and mortar store and that looks all good and all prestigious and maybe people take you a little bit more serious because you have a, a, a brick and mortar store. But is that cost effective in today's information age, in today's technological age? Not really cost effective. Right. Uh, your reach. Uh, whenever you have a, a, a business that operates from a brick and mortar store, sometimes people see you as a local business. Right. Online, people see, know that you are have a global reach. Global reach that, that I mean, I do business all over the world now. I just had somebody from South Africa reach out to me uh, last week, uh, wanting to know more about the Black Wealth Movement and what we can do to help them internationally. Right. So we'll go over some more of these, but I have another question. Uh, how about people who are concerned about their retirement, right? How about people who are concerned about their retirement? Sheila, give me the name of your brand. Give me the name of your brand uh, so, I can, so I can get that. Uh, Giovanni, ask your question one more time um, for me uh, because it's gotten lost. I apologize. Um, how about people who are concerned about retirement? Uh, I, you know what? I like I like something that's a little controversial for that. Uh, you know, uh, what if your golden years aren't so golden? Because you're, we've been sold on working these forty years and trusting that in forty years from now we're gonna be all right. And when we get forty years later, it turns out that we didn't save nearly enough. We're not nearly as prepared as we should have been, but all we kept hearing is the golden years is going to get greater later. And nobody's telling us in order for it to get greater later, we got to sacrifice now. So I like something like that. Financial lifestyle. Uh, let's see. Uh, financial lifestyle strategist. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, are you on Facebook? Yes, Cortez Springer on Facebook. And I'm streaming live on that profile. Cortez Springer on Facebook. Financial Health Mentor is the business page. Financial Health Mentor is the uh, YouTube channel. Yep, so uh, Financial Lifestyle Strategist. Really preparing you for those golden years. Right. With really in quotation marks. Right. Because people who are saying they're preparing for the golden years, they're not really preparing. They've got a 401k, but they're putting one percent of their uh, 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 salary in it. Right. So that that would be something that I would kind of play around with. Uh, 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 financial lifestyle strategies really preparing you for your golden years. And because that's your target demographic, then. Uh, uh, um, or, or or making retirement less scary, something like that. People are scared of retirement, so that's something else that you can play on, uh, Sheila. Uh, have you heard of stash investing? If so, thoughts. Also, where do you go to uh, for the brokerage accounts? Can you explain that? Uh, stash investing, I've heard a little bit about it. Don't know a whole lot, but yes, it's basically just taking little small amounts of money and just stashing it into something that's going to grow for you. Uh, uh, your brokerage accounts, I use Options Express, which is a Charles Schwab product, but you can go anywhere and get a brokerage account for free. I teach everybody that you should have three accounts. You should have a, a checking savings and a brokerage account. Your brokerage account is what, is what gives you access to the market. 
without uh, uh, necessarily having to go through a financial advisor or a planner. You can have, up, have your brokerage account and they access the market for you. Or in other words, when you want to buy stock, if you're not a qualified investor, then you can't just go do that on your own. You have to do that through a brokerage account, right? So they represent you and they will buy the stock and, and, and sell it to you based on some questions that you have to answer for them. So Options Express is a good one, uh, but Ameritrade, all of those people uh, you can have an account with. Facebook name, Cortez Springer. Springer, like Jerry Springer, no relation. <laughs> Cortez Springer, C-O-R-T-E-Z. It's the same as the uh, profile uh, on uh, Periscope too. Yeah, Cortez Springer. So, uh, but yes, I think st any type of investing is good. If, you, if you're getting a, in the habit of stashing $5 a day, $3 a day, uh, $15 a week, and that just becomes your habit, you will ultimately start to build uh, some wealth. So, so yes, that, that, is, that is definitely uh, a, a good thing. But yeah, uh, the, the brokerage accounts, it's, you're not investing when you open a brokerage account. That just gives you access to the investment. So when I say if you're not ready to invest and you're still learning uh, investment strategies, open your brokerage account. Every time you get paid, transfer some money to that brokerage account, whether it's $20, $50, $100, whatever. Just transfer the money in there. It's going to sit there until you're ready to pull the trigger on a particular investment. Right. That's kind of how I would do it and just get yourself in the habit of moving money towards investing. Not quite investing yet, but at least you're getting in the habit of every time I get paid, I'm transferring some money into a brokerage account so that I can buy my first share of stock. So I can start looking at IRAs or, 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 or mutual funds or, or uh, ETFs or whatever. Right. Rover Financial Gains focus more on investing. Uh, so Rover uh, Financial Gains focus more on investments. Uh, 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 helping you get off your assets to build assets, right? I like getting off your assets. Uh, get off your assets and start investing, right? I, something like that. Uh, if, if, you're in be if your focus is investments, uh, then you, you can talk about uh, capital gains. You can play on capital gains since you're using gains in your title. Uh, um, free up the capital for major gains, right? Because you're kind of doing what we're doing. You can help people uh, get their cash flow right. Free up your capital for major gains, right? That's what you help people do. So I like that. That is cool. Uh, 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 roll for financial gains. Uh, yeah, asset accumulation uh, specialist, you know, whatever. So, so something to that effect. But yeah, definitely. Uh, Damon Hill, binary options. What have you heard? What do you think? I haven't heard anything, uh, Damon. And, and, and just so you guys know, I, I, let me tell you where I am with, with, with my journey for investing. I've been taught by a $600 million guy that my primary investment should be my business. So I don't own a lot of paper investments. Uh, yes, Elaine, definitely. Yeah, anytime, anytime. I think we should catch up. I think there is some synergy and alignment with what we're doing. What I do is mentally and financially prepare people to go to you or people like you to buy their assets. But they got to be mentally prepared and financially prepared. That's what we do. If we had you on the team, then you would actually be able to serve. Uh, we have 300 and something members in our network that are going through a process of getting their money right so they can eventually start investing. So you could, you could potentially serve them. No gains, just gains. I like that. No gains. So you hear that, Tawana? No gains, just gains. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, so Damon, I'm not, I'm not familiar with, but, but all of my money, energy, and effort is going into my business right now. You guys hear me give this example all the time. Bob Johnson of BET took $15,000 
Because he did not invest it in the market, he invested into a business, a private equity company, an enterprise that he built. He turned $15,000 to over $2 billion in like 25, 26 years. So for me, all of my investment capital goes into my own brand. Uh, I am Central. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Central time. Central time. All of my investment capital goes into my brand and then the brand will generate excess capital and I will take the capital from this brand and start buying assets. But for me, I like to build assets versus buying assets first because the name of the game is cash, asset, cash, where, however you look at it. So I have cash that I took from my job. I started to build an asset. I invested to building an asset. Uh, yes, I will accept. So I start building an asset that's going to bring me more cash. Then I will later buy assets with the cash. Right. So that's my philosophy personally. Uh, is there anything wrong with buying paper assets? No, nothing wrong with that. But all of my capital is being flooded into my business right now. That, that's what I'm doing right now. And as my business becomes more profitable, then I will take the excess from my business and then I will buy assets, precious metals, uh, uh, collectibles, uh, uh, other businesses and, 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 and paper assets and, and that, that sort of thing. Real estate definitely going that route, right? So that's kind of my whole philosophy about this thing. Uh, Robin, uh, Robin Hood is good. Is a good one also. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, and, and and gain a little interest. Yep. Johnson Family Legacy. I'm focused on credit building. What you think about that name? I love that. I love that. Johnson Family Legacy. I love that. Uh, and, and my, you know what? My favorite tagline about credit is cash is king, but credit rules the kingdom. Cash is king, but credit rules the kingdom. So you can you can have that. You can borrow that, uh, Mona. So, so it could be Johnson Family Legacy. Cash is king, but credit rules the kingdom. When I see that, I specifically know that you're talking about credit. You're talking about credit. I know that. Okay, so let me see what she has to say about credit, right? Family Legacy's credit. Uh, uh, Johnson Family Legacy. You down with OPP, uh, OPM, other people's money, using credit to build a legacy, right? No games, just games. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, cool. Uh, foreign exchange trade. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, again, uh, uh, Damon, foreign exchange trading has been around forever. Ever since currency was first introduced to uh, civilization, people have been trading uh, uh, currency via foreign exchange trading. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But again, me personally, I think I can build. So for instance, I I'll just give you an example with what I do. Uh, with my financial franchise, I can take $35, invest that into somebody to help them start their own financial education franchise. They can grow that franchise and that $35 investment can make me millions of dollars from that one franchise. And then I just leverage that one franchise, right? So there's nothing wrong with investing in any of these other vehicles. It's just personal preference. And for me, my personal preference is I'm going the, the Bob Johnson route. I'm going to build me a billion dollar uh, enterprise, a billion dollar holding company that has uh, four main pillars underneath it. One pillar number one. Uh, yes, I do have a, my econ franchise. That is that is what I build. That That is my primary source of income. Um, so pillar number one uh, is going to be media. Uh, pillar number two is going to be uh, good, good, good. I love it. Pillar number two is going to be real estate. Pillar number uh, three will be uh, 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 paper assets. Uh, and then uh, I haven't really decided what pillar number four is going to be, but I know I'm going to have a huge media conglomerate. I know I'm going to own more real estate than, than, than probably the that 90% of people are on the planet when it's all said and done. 
uh, and and I know that I will eventually uh, take the revenue from these companies and start buying uh, paper assets and, and stock trading and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but but that's just that's just me, Damon. But yeah, if you're into for, uh, foreign exchange uh, trading, uh, learn everything that you can about it. But also remember this, man. There's more on what you do, uh, more on what you know than what you do. Once you learn that really well, start teaching that. Start teaching that. I ain't paying attention to you. Uh, let's not get it twisted. Just that question. Oh no, it's it's all good. It's all good, Damon. I I know we 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 connected, brother. Uh, you ought to come out tomorrow, man. You know we're doing a workshop tomorrow at Covenant for Life Church, man. Yeah, I have not named my my econ business. I focus on entrepreneurship. So so yeah, uh, if you're focusing on entrepreneurship, uh, then I would probably use. Uh, you know, uh, my, my good buddy, uh, Marquel Russell, calls himself the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, right? That's his tagline, right? Um, so, yeah, something business coach, something uh, along the lines of, of, of entrepreneur. Uh, you know, my girl Yvette Bess, uh, from employee to boss, right? From employee to boss. Those are some of the things that you, you do with this business is you help people transition from uh, employees to boss. Right. Uh, 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 why entrepreneurship? Right. Uh, 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 the tech boss lady is is Mojo. So yeah, we got a lot of those things, man. Uh, all right, let's see. Holding, uh, holdings, yes, yes. Uh, uh, no problem. It says, but investing is part of this franchise. Yes, investing is definitely a part. But but you have to have. Uh, you you have to have. Uh, let's see. What did you say, Damon? Holding address. You you have to have a primary focus, uh, Tawana. So it, even though uh, uh, you have gains and all that kind of stuff, you have to have a primary focus, and then you can also have these as subcategories. So my primary focus is business. Let me help you explode your brand right any business then let me help you if you're in the financial education space let me help you specifically explode that brand oh uh 7200 uh west florison right between uh lucas and hunt and Jenner station road covenant for life church 7200 uh west florison right there in jennings so you you explode uh uh you know you have one brand uh, a one primary focus, but then all of these things can be synergistically aligned. So business for me, entrepreneurship is my focus. But the reason I'm focused on entrepreneurship is for the financials. And then as part of financials and business, then you have to understand branding. You have to understand marketing. You have to understand targeting and all of that kind of stuff. You want to come get my sugar, sugar? All right, babe. Have a good one. You have to understand branding. You have to understand marketing. So that those are subcategories from my primary focus. My primary focus is entrepreneurship. And then you can see I can build other businesses that are synergistically aligned underneath my primary focus without straying too far to the left or too far to the right. Right? Make sense? Everybody tracking? This is good stuff, man. This is good stuff. I love when you guys engage. Um, uh, any more questions before we get out? Any more questions before we get out of here? If you have none, then that's cool. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in and hanging in. Elaine, if you're still on Periscope, go ahead and jump over. Shoot me a friend request. Mm -hmm. Let's get connected. Because even as a, uh, as a financial advisor, I don't know what you're doing from a branding and marketing standpoint. I literally generate about 50 leads a day for my financial education franchise. So I teach lead generation. I teach uh, marketing. I teach uh, advertising and branding and, and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, there, there's a lot of ways that we can partner and, and, and help one another. You obviously are licensed so you can help me understand investments a little bit better. I can help you understand cash flow management and how we use the tax minimization strategies and all that kind of stuff. Man, you just got to get that. Uh, how do we get you as a coach? Um, 
there's two ways to partner with me. There's two ways to partner with me. Um, as a financial coach, that is through the Black Wealth Movement. $35 a month. As a business coach, that is through uh, Monetize My Life Academy, which is $97 a month. So those are the two ways. So if you're already building a My Econ business and you want me to help you because you're on somebody else's team, then you need to, to enroll in Monetize My Life Academy, uh, $97 a month, and I can help you better brand your My Econ business. If you're not in My Econ, uh, you want me to help you build a financial education franchise, join the Black Wealth Movement, that's my, my econ arm. I can help you uh, with a lot of things. You, come, you get a lot of branding and marketing coaching there because you're on my team. But if you're serious about building other brands in addition to my econ, then you might want to do both. Join the Black Wealth Movement and Monetize My Life Academy. Any other questions? Questions, questions, questions. You know, I can do this all day. No, I can't because I got work to do. <laughs> But I got a few more minutes if you guys got questions. I got a few more minutes if you guys got questions. So just let me recap. Who, who wants the first I Am Hustle t-shirt? Huh? I'm not legend. I am hustle. See, for some of y'all, hustle is what y'all do. For me, hustle is what I am. <laughs> see, that's a nice little tagline slogan, right? Can you see that on a commercial? For some of y'all, hustle is what y'all do. But for me, hustle is who I am. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all about branding. It's all about marketing and all that stuff. It says, uh, say, I do love the black one. Yeah, yeah, so I've got them in two colors right now. I've got the black with the white letters and I got the white with the black letters, but y'all already know. All the colors are coming. All the colors are coming. I just had somebody mock these up for me, and I was like, yeah, I'm going I'm to support these and promote them. But, yeah, all the colors are coming, man. I've got some killer, killer colors with some, that's going to go on some different color T-shirts. It's going to be killer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start building up that, cali uh, that, that catalog over the next couple of weeks. But right now, somebody's got to be the first to buy one. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for helping build our Susu. It is flourishing. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, 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 you know that that, and I'm gonna jump back in. I'm gonna jump back in because I I love that we were able to. Uh, I was one of the first members of a a, a Susu Economics uh, a program on Facebook where a bunch of people got together and started putting in money into a small bank that we started lending to each other. And we broke the, the, the thought process that black people can't trust each other. Not only were we black people, we were black people from all over the country. And nobody knew nothing about the woman who started it. She just said, hey, we're going to start it. And we're just going to do this honor system. We're going to trust. And everybody put $22 in every month. And when your cycle came, you were able to borrow that $22. You kept putting your $22 in until you paid that $22 back. And we started small. So now it's still growing. So yes, I, I absolutely, 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 um, absolutely. Any other questions before we jet out? It's ten after, so I know uh, we normally end at nine, but this is this is good. Uh, I will buy one from uh, you, then you can uh, buy one of mine. Yes, yes. Uh, for think about it, radio. Uh, of course, I can dig it. Of course, I can dig it. Any other questions before we get out? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we did that thing, Tawana, and it's still going right now. It's still going right now, and that was two years ago, right, Monica? How long has it been? I think it's two years old, and it's still going, and, and, and Monica can give, can, can give the stats. I don't know how many people we've uh, lent to and how many thousands of dollars. Uh, uh, are you top or B, please? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Periscope. Uh, yeah, we 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 worked it out. We we worked it out, and and I mean, it's it's one of those things where at, at some point, man, I, I a think tank is cool, but we got to get to some do tanks around here, man. Right? Some some of us been sitting in think tanks for years. Some of us have been sitting in think tanks for years and haven't done a doggone thing. Time to get out the think tank and hop into the do tank. 
That's what the Black Wealth Movement is all about. People who are actually doing. So if there's no more questions, we're going to jump out. Uh, if there's no more uh, 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 questions, we're going to jump out of the stream and we're going to end it today. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, I am H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor to the black community. Until I talk to you guys next week, I want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. And remember, go to Financial Health Mentor fan page and like the page because we will start streaming exclusively on Facebook from that page instead of my personal profile. You guys have a blessed weekend and I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace out, y'all.